Hi guys, as promised I said I would be doing an extensive test on the PL520 to just to show you um, each of the functions that it has. Unfortunately I can't get around to doing the GPRS because I made a big mistake and I updated to 4.3.3 iOS um, for my iPod itself. Now at the moment PL520 doesn't support this um, iOS version but Yoshi and I are looking into this and they should be releasing an update soon. But I did have 4.2.1, which the GPRS does work on, and I um, have used a GPRS function, and I can say it is very quick. It's um, as quick as what it would be on any other phone. So, and it also depends on the um, SIM provider that you have, the network provider. So, it is very quick in terms of my O2 UK um, system. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test each aspect of the PL520 and just to give you an idea of what the PL520 is like. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is testing the SMS messaging and the calling from the PL520 to another phone. Now to do this I have another Blackberry with me which is another um, number. The PL520 is named PL520 on the BlackBerry so that when I call it it will show, show up as PL520 and on the PL520 the BlackBerry is named as test so you should know that the BlackBerry is calling. First thing that I'm going to do is call the PL520 from um, the BlackBerry sorry from the PL520 so just click test and call contact. Now that's calling so um, the BlackBerry should be getting the call any second now. As you can see, all the PL520 is ringing the, black, um, the BlackBerry itself, so I'm going to hang that up. So that is what the PL520 looks like when you are receiving a call. Now what I'm going to do is ring the black, um, PL520 back from the BlackBerry. So I'm just calling the PL520. Then I'm calling the PL520 from my BlackBerry. This is what it looks like. I've got mine on mute. I just got it on vibrate, so you might hear it vibrate. So it unlocks and it shows up just like that. Okay, so if I hang up, and when I hang up, it'll just go back to there. And as you can see at the bottom of the PIL520, it says history and it will display the number itself. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is testing the SMS um, from PIL520 to another BlackBerry to show you what it's like basically. So I've already got the um, PIL520 ready, as you can see it says test over here. So I'm going to be messaging test. Now just for that I am going to type in random numbers so you know it's the PIL520 typing so I'm just going to random stuff here. And to show you that it's random, there's what I'm going to be typing. I'll send this and it's sent. You'll know when it's sent as it beeps. Just like that. Now my Blackberry should be getting it. My Blackberry has received the message. So I'm just going to receive that. So the message was open already on the Blackberry. And it has the PL520. And as you can see the number, I'm not sure you can see it, there's the message itself. Just to compare it with the PL520, as you know, there's a message I sent, so you know it's working. Now if I text this back, reply, and I say, just again, random stuff. Oh, no, that's not just random there. And I will message that back. So, my PL520 should receive it. Just bear with me. My PL520 is vibrated. And there the message has been received by the PL520. So this just shows you a quick guide on the um, PL520 actually working as a phone and uh, uh, well, as a phone sending messages and um, receiving them and sending calls and receiving calls. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the FM radio on the PL520. Now in a building I found that the PL520 radio doesn't work that well when you have it on speaker just because of the signals that it's receiving. But when you have headphones in, the headphones actually act as an antenna. So you can extend the um, 
signal basically and you get better quality connection. I'm just going to show you the FM radio here. I'm just going to open it up. So, phone. I'm just going to go to settings. Add FM. I'm going to go to search. Now, as you can see, the headphones aren't in at the moment, so it's struggling to search. But if I plug the headphones in, I'm not going to unravel them, I'm just going to plug the port into it. If I plug it in on the bottom, you'll find that it comes up with that. I'm just going to go to headset so it comes out of the speakers. But um, it should be able to find the um, signal a lot better now, so just bear with me. See the headphones then. So I found something there. I'm playing out the speakers. I just turn the speakers on at the moment. Million channels at that time with our so that's my head um, thing, my radio working with headphones in. As you see, it's found the signal. It's still searching for it, but it, sh um, it will come out with a list of the radio channels, such as FM 89.5 or something like that. If it does um, come up in the anytime soon then I'll show you, if it doesn't then, you just have, then it won't, but um, I can show you that the radio works. But the speakers, on the other hand, I can say that the speakers are actually very good on the PL520 itself. Um, in fact, I, I think the speakers are a lot better than the iPod Touches um, speaker, but they're not as good as the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 speakers are a lot more bassy than the PL520 and a lot, a bit clearer. Not, I wouldn't say a lot clearer, but a bit clearer. In terms of the PL520 and the iPod Touches speaker, it's louder, a little more bass, but um, and it's just as clear. So next, I'll be going on to the next feature. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is um, using the charge function on the PL520 to charge the iPod itself. Now as you can see I've, have, I've got my um, Yoshin call app already open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the charge function so that you can um, see it's charging. So if you could hear that, that was a lightning bolt just to say it's charging just, as you connect, uh, just like it does on when you connect your iPod to the computer or a plug that charges. Now if I go to the home page, you can see both batteries. The one on the right is the, uh, or the one on the end, sorry, is the one from the iPod and the one on the left is the Yoshin PL520. As you can see, the iPod still is charging so, and it, you won't see the difference now, but in a couple of um, minutes you would see a percentage or two change and in 10 minutes you could get up to 10% battery charge. Now the battery on the PL520 is very good. I've been testing it for a couple of days now and it lasts me a whole day and this is when using um, using it on fairly reasonable, reasonable amount of calls for about 4 hours of calls a day and texting quite a bit and I could say that I am impressed. Some people are having problems where um, they think that the PL520 is discharging the iPod battery. Well, I can assure you that that's not happening. It might be that the iPod is um, faulty, and in some cases the PL520 are faulty in the fact that they aren't charging the iPod itself. Now, if this is the case, then you can send it to wherever you bought it back. I've had um, multiple people say, that um, they've sent it back and they have received a new PL520 free of charge just because it isn't their fault. So that was pretty much it. The next function that I'm going to be talking about is the ability to use Bluetooth through the PL520. Now if I click on Bluetooth on the Ocean app itself, as you can see it has Bluetooth search device and search hands free now the bluetooth on it says off at the moment but just to toggle it on you just have to um, switch it to the right it says search device this is for if you are um, wanting to connect it to another device and search hands free is one that I have used myself I can't show you at the moment because I haven't got the head headset myself at the moment but I can say in terms of connection problems there are no connection problems um, also what I just like to say is in terms of the device pairing, 
the due to the ability of the iPod, it wouldn't allow you to send or receive files using the PL520 itself. All it does is just to pair, um, so you can use the features of the um, other device that you're using. And in some cases, you might be able to read messages or get contacts off it, but you're not allowed to send or receive files just because of the iPod. There is an app in Cydia called Celeste which will allow you to do this and I believe it does work with the PL520 so if you do want to send and receive files from um, your iPod to another device or receive from another device then the app is called Celeste. I will add this in the description in the video below. So that is the Bluetooth. So my overall view of the PL520, I've had it for a couple of days now and I've been able to use it to the limits, I would say. Um, at the moment there are a few bugs in terms of on the 4.3.3 firmware for the um, iPod Touch, you cannot use GPRS at the moment, but this is definitely a problem that's being fixed now. Um, but if you do have 4.2.1, you can use a GPRS function and I can say that it is very quick it's just like another device in terms of the GPRS the next thing is the FM radio now it is disappointing that in a room like this when I'm in my house I don't get a signal um, without the headphones but normally I would listen to the radio with the headphones so that isn't a problem I could just um, plug in the headphones and I will get that extra signal as it acts like an aerial um, you can also use a speaker if you wanted to the next thing is the charging function. Now this is very useful. I have used this quite a lot in the last um, two days just to charge my iPod when it's low, just to test it also. The Peel 520 does get warm slightly, but it's just a lukewarm. It isn't very, very warm, but you would expect that from a device that's charging another device. In terms of when you're charging, um, the iPod cable that you're using will charge both the Peel 520 and the iPod Touch um, at the same time. And it does take considerably longer than what it would do when just charging the iPod as it is charging both the batteries. In terms of the Bluetooth function, when using it with a headset, it is very good because you don't have any problems in terms of connection. If you want to use it to pair, to pair it to a device, it is again very good that I, um, from the videos that I've seen as you can use it to um, just look at contacts but you cannot send and receive files from one device to another unless you have an app called Celeste which I've added in the comments below so I hope this video helps in terms of the functions of the um, PL520 itself when the GPRS works on version um, firmware 4.3.3 I will be adding another video to show you how quick it is and how well it works okay thanks for watching bye